Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis. Alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's first time around for these two countries in the group stage here at the 2023 World Cup. It's Panama, and they take on Jamaica. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And the lineup for Panama. Well, they're going to make themselves very hard to break down. In this formation, the only way you can play is on the back foot. Hopefully, they try to counter attack with pace and numbers. Otherwise, I can't see them scoring. And here's how Jamaica will line up. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the contest begins. Daisy Ray Salazar. Promising looking attack. How about the cross? And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Primus. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. Karina Baltri Reyes. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Oh, could be! And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. And an effective clearance. Firing it in, and no way through. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. On she goes in possession. Can she pick the right option? Unable to keep the ball. Well, doesn't have to do it on her own. No nonsense clearance. A very timely interception. 
Physically strong and secure on the ball. Karina Baltri Preyes. And there to intervene. On the offensive. They could nudge in front. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Can someone get on the end of this? And a goal kick will be next. Salazar. Caen. Daisy Ray Salazar. Atlanta Primus. Oh, surely. And up and pushed onto the woodwork. Mills. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And beating her opponent. And an astute piece of defending. Valtry Breyes. And teammates to play it to. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Wiltshire. Atlanta Primus. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Hilary Hayen. Can they nudge in front? Opportunity. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, as you can see, it wasn't even close, was it? No debate about that one. Delivering it. Terrific block. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. The first half here comes to an end. to the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment still level here but the pressure escalating she's made a really good intervention there Hilary Hayen. It needs an accurate cross. 
Oh, it's there for her. In it goes. The goal for 1-0. And that changes the dynamic. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Well, not hard to read that pass. Cox. Moving into the advanced position. But nothing comes of it. It could be on for her. Just the challenge that was required. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And support available. Can be comfortable in bringing that ball down. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. That's a lovely ball. Could be threatening. Atlanta Primus. Determined defending. Natis. Twenty minutes to go in this one. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Brown delightful pass now showing excellent judgment to intercept oh it might happen for her here well a badly timed run just a fraction offside well maybe she thought she would escape punishment the referee right on top of the situation Havana Solon and with that the attack fizzles out you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it booking to come you would think and a yellow card it's going to be Stuart yeah the ref's got that right it's a yellow card all day long and that was a very fine read this could square the game and it has such late excitement and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak well here it is again and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line and the movement is good making for a comfortable finish it's a really great goal So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Rebecca Espinosa. Only five minutes left for play, and tension galore with the teams locked together. And possession given away. 
Jody Brown. Denisha Blackwood. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Tierney Wiltshire. An advantage with them. Referee says play on. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, in the end, they can't be separated. It goes into the history books as a draw. Stuart, keen to get your reflections on Panama's performance. Yes, the disappointment is clear to see. Obviously, with 10 minutes to go, they must have been feeling confident that they could see it out. But that's football, Derek. That's what we love about it.